Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, for those of you that don't already know me. Most people know me as Yay Reptiles from Instagram, Twitter, or here on YouTube. Before I get too far into today's video, I do want to kind of show off my new hoodie that I got. It is from Gigi Raff, and I just recently found them on Instagram, and they're having a huge sale, and they support giraffe conservation, so of course, I had to buy something and test them out. So I just got my hoodie in. This is my first time wearing it. It is so comfy. It is so cute. It's got a little giraffe here. You can see the back. And most companies donate like 10% of their profit from each sale to some sort of organization or cause. GG Wrap donates 50% of their profit to giraffe conservation. How freaking awesome is that? So I got accepted to be an ambassador for this company. I'm trying to get my code as we speak. So hopefully when this video goes up, I will have my code, it'll be here on the screen, and my referral link and code will be in the description below. So you guys can go save some giraffes. But anyway, the purpose of today's video is it's, it's amazing. It really is. There is a kind of challenge going around or a movement, movement challenge going around. And for those of you that are on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. And that is the Better Care Challenge. So Dylan from Animals at Home, awesome podcast, highly recommend. All about reptile keeping. If you don't already listen to Reptiles at Home, I highly, highly, highly recommend checking them out. I listen to his podcasts when I have like long car rides and it's just such, such a great podcast. So I will link Animals at Home, their YouTube channel, in the description below so you have to check them out. But anyway, Dylan, he messaged me on Instagram and kind of challenged me to take part in this, kind of tagged me in this challenge. Um, so Dylan and a couple other animal keepers, reptile keepers, started a challenge called the Better Care Challenge. And essentially what it is, is it's a challenge where you're challenged to improve the care of one of your animals by doing something small. Something small that betters the life of one of your animals. So it doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be like going out and building a whole new enclosure and giving it a whole makeover. Just something small to make the animal's life better. Whether it's getting a new food dish, a new water dish, adding some plants or some fake plants, more decor, a new hide. So basically you're just doing something small that makes a difference, that improves the life of your animal. So it doesn't have to be anything hard or super expensive. And that's the point of the challenge because people focus too much on the negatives and what is wrong instead of trying to help or focus on the positives and what we can do to help or to better our care. And the cool part about reptile keeping is it's, you're never going to be perfect. There's always ways to improve. So the Better Care Challenge kind of challenges you to figure out what, where is your care lacking? What can you do to make it better? Because you can never stop making your care better. So what can you do to make your care better? So I'm going to show you guys what I decided to do for the Better Care Challenge, and then we'll tell you guys who I'm challenging to take on the Better Care Challenge at the end. Yeah. So Eugene here, my veiled chameleon, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you know we've been having some issues with him, he's seen the vets, you also would know that he has been making tremendous progress, making a good comeback, he's doing much better. Um, but he's not 100% yet. I still have to tong feed him, literally take him out and make him eat because he can't do it on his own. He tries, so that's good. You know, his attitude still, still, he's still Eugene. He just needs a little assistance, but he has come a long way back. So I've been trying to improve my care with him so much lately. I keep trying to think of ways I can improve his care to try to increase recovery. And I've done a lot. Um, I just recently took his enclosure bioactive, so that video I think will be right before this video because I don't want to show you guys his enclosure without showing you the bioactive video. I don't know. 
yeah the bioactive video should already be out so if you haven't seen that go watch that but his enclosure is bioactive now all new plants inside except for the like, two old ones that survived but they're in rough shape all new plants to try to increase humidity um he can eat them they are safe for chameleons i've seen him snacking on his umbrella plant a lot in the past so i know he's at least eating that um, so just whatever I can do, he got, you know, you new UVB light not that long ago. I switched it out a little early just so he would get better ones, or uh, like stronger UVB. So I've done a lot trying to improve his care. But there's still more to go. So we're going to do two things for Eugene today. Okay, so one of the suggestions the last event we saw made was increasing his humidity. So veiled chameleons don't need quite the humidity that other chameleon species need. Um, so I do mist him down in the morning and in the evening. But you know, it is winter in New York, it is very dry, and he could benefit from a little more humidity, a little more moisture to make sure that you know he is getting enough water intake and everything. So Eugene, thanks to my uncle for getting me a Amazon gift card for Christmas, Eugene got a humidifier. So we're going to be setting this up today. This one is super awesome. I got it on Amazon. It comes with a tube already. But I think my favorite part is that you can fill it from the top. The problem I have with Arcadius' humidifier is that every time I have to refill it, I have to take the whole thing off and take it to the bathroom. This you just dump water in the top. Like That is so convenient. Yeah. And it has a built-in timer. Like This thing is sick. So I can't wait to see how it works. I really hope that it works as well as I'm thinking it's going to. So we'll see about that. The other thing that we're going to be doing is giving him more climbing apparatuses. So I have a ton of just extra driftwood laying around. I didn't realize how much I actually already have. Tonight I went out to my shed to find a piece of wood to hold the humidifier on top of this enclosure. And I had to dig under extra driftwood that I've had out there that I didn't know existed. And then back in the fall, we went and got more just so I'd have it on hand if I wanted to spice up some enclosures. And I'm like, you know, I have all these pieces just sitting in the garage. Why don't I stick them in Eugene's enclosure and give him more things to climb on? So we're going to be doing that. a couple more sticks that he can climb on. Now we're going to set up his humidifier. Alright, so that is running pretty good. I may actually throw the second one on to get more coverage. Alright, so I hooked up both hoses. So now we have two spots going. That is crazy. So those are the new changes. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll put the link for the humidifier down below if you guys want to go check that out. I just got it right on Amazon. And it was Amazon Prime. And for the Better Care Challenge, I found out May Do So is already nominated. But that's okay because I'm still nominating Lissa's Lizards and Marion Crew. So tag you guys are it challenging you to the Better Care Challenge. Alright, thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next time.